Those who doubted Lyndon LaRouche when he put the Hitler mustache on Obama have now proven themselves utterly and absolutely incompetent. The recent week's events show exactly what LaRouche meant, that Obama is worse than Adolf Hitler with the targeted assassinations that we have now seen of world leaders in complete violation of international law, and now the targeted assassination of U.S. citizens, three of them so far, including a teenage boy. That this is not something that is destined for simply faraway lands. This will come here to the United States soil, and Barack Obama must be thrown out immediately. And those who think that they can play games, as we're now seeing in the Senate with uh, Senators Kerry, uh, McCain, with these blistering attacks on, on Russia and China, thinking that they're going to get on his good side, should remember what LaRouche said, that Obama is like Nero. And as Nero turned on everybody in the end, these senators should remember that they are not, these targeted assassinations are not just for Obama's current enemy list. This is an enemy list that will be expanded, and every American citizen is implicitly on this list. Now, the British Empire know that their system is coming down, their transatlantic system. It is not going to collapse. It's, the euro is in the middle of collapse. The U.S. dollar under these policies is in the middle of collapse. So it's not going to collapse. It is collapsing. The British are going to maintain their power, and they're using Obama for their coup to, to keep their power. Now, we are going to bankrupt them starting with Glass-Steagall. Glass-Steagall will wipe out these main zombie banks in the United States and begin the, the process where we can do what we should have done under our Constitution, which is to implement Hamilton's credit policy. And begin the process as this transatlantic system dies, we can join with what's going on in Asia, with, with Russia and China explicitly at this point. Uh, Putin was just in China. They signed 20 major trade deals, including oil and gas development, railroads, a fast breeder reactor. Right? These are the kind of projects that the United States used to be pioneers in, and we should be pioneers again, and frankly the rest of the world wants us to be pioneers in. But they have invited us to join in this kind of economic cooperation. That's the, uh, the implications of Russia building a railroad from Yakutsk to the Bering Straits. And that's what Nawapa represents. It will be the key driver of the creation of 7 million jobs uh, in line with LaRouche's idea of uh, raising the platform of economic development uh, through capital-intense projects such as Nawapa, which will include the high tech of the, uh, you know, the different engineering capabilities, the nuclear power, of course, right? But this begins the capability of developing the Arctic region and joining up with Asia for a now trans-Pacific orientation. And this is the only way that civilization is going to survive. So this is what Summer Shields Conference next week in San Francisco is representing. The idea of these three powers, Russia, China, the United States, soon to be India, soon to be uh, Japan, and frankly the rest of the world soon thereafter that. But this kind of large-scale uh, economic projects will be the key driver for getting the planet out of the rush to, to the, off the, the, uh, the edge of civilization here. So Summer's conference in San Francisco is not just simply for his campaign. This is a national event, and he's invited me to speak down there as part of this national slate of LaRouche Democrats, which are leading the, the United States with the only sane policy that's left, which begins with Glass-Steagall, the Hamiltonian credit policy, and Nawapa as the beginning of this uh, three powers perspective. But to be clear, Obama must go now. There, are, there is, these targeted drone assassinations are, are coming to U.S. soil. This enemies list is expanding of Obama. He has now proven himself worthy of the mustache and must be thrown out. And with that perspective, we can crush the British and move forward with economic development. And that's the perspective that this slate of LaRouche Democrats are leading across the nation. So join or die.